Oceans cover about 71% of the Earth's surface, and yet there's so much we don't know about them. As we breach new frontiers in space exploration and prepare to launch for the stars, we've somehow still not managed to even scratch the surface of this vast realm right here on Earth. The deep sea, in particular, is one of the most understudied ecosystems on the planet. While there are many reasons behind that, the primary one is that even with our best technology, fully exploring the seas involves staggering almost impossible amounts of money as well as advanced equipment that can withstand those pressures. The only people that that have the means to do that are oil rig operators or apparently James Cameron. Because of that, it's a world full of the kind of mysteries and unexplained phenomena that we love to discuss here on this channel. While we're closer than ever to solving some of them, others like bioluminescence somehow get more mysterious the more we study them. Number 10. The Ocean Floor even if most of us have never seen the bottom of our oceans, we imagine it to be largely flat, much like the kind of rocky floor you encounter if you swim a bit far away from the shore. Swim far enough though and you'll find out that there's nothing flat or uniform about the ocean floor at all. It's made up of as many diverse terrain types as you'd find on land, if not more, with huge mountains, deep gorges falling into nowhere, underwater volcanoes, and well, just about everything else. It's also the most unexplored part of the ocean, as we've only been able to map about 15% of the ocean floor. It's done by a sonar-based technique called multi-beam bathymetry, and many modern ships are equipped with modern multi-beam bathymeters to map out the ocean. However, most commercial ships only ply on designated sea routes, leaving a major part of it unmapped. Number 9. Bioluminescence Bioluminescence has fascinated scientists and thinkers for a long time. Recorded references to glowing animals go as far back as ancient Roman Greece. Aristotle studied the phenomenon in detail and was the first to theorize correctly that these animals don't use heat to produce light. We've since documented many animals, both on land and underwater, that have this ability, each with their own unique way of using it. While it's fairly well understood for land animals, the phenomenon is far more widespread and complex in the oceans, especially in the deep see. As we dive deeper and find even more animals that can produce light in a variety of ways, we find that it may be an entire language and means of communication in a place completely devoid of light that we just don't understand. According to a study, about 76% of all ocean animals have this ability, though we have no idea how most of them use it. Number 8. Why did some mammals move back into the ocean? Every branch of life has its origins in the ocean, and most of us decided to stick with the decision to move to land. Except marine mammals like whales and manatees, who didn't like the deal and chose to go back into the water. Biologists have no explanations for why they did that, as it doesn't make a lot of evolutionary sense. Early whales, for example, would have a hard time even swimming underwater, as their long-developed limbs and body types adapted for survival on land. They had no organs to help them survive underwater anymore either. All marine mammals still have to use their lungs to breathe, much like all the other mammal species found on land. Number 7. Mysterious Life Forms Under Antarctica If we counted the most inhospitable ecosystems on Earth, the waters under Antarctica would definitely feature around the top of the list. It's a vast region lying underneath an ice cover, close to 5.3 million square miles in area, with no visibility and consistently below zero temperatures. Because of the hostile conditions, we've never actually been able to study it until recently. During an exploratory dig by the British Antarctic Survey, researchers discovered that life under Antarctica isn't just more diverse and vibrant than we ever thought, but also much more mysterious. While we'd always known that some species can and do survive there, like fish worms and some crustacean species, all of them are mobile predators or scavengers. This time, however, they found multiple species of filter-feeding organisms instead, creatures that require a consistent flow of food from above as well as sunlight to survive. The researchers have no idea how or why they live there, or even if it makes evolutionary sense to do so. Moreover, many of the species found during the survey have never been seen by science before. Number 6. The Immortal Jellyfish Jellyfish are one of the most diverse species of animals found in our oceans, with over 200 subspecies, each with its own unique features and adaptations based on its habitat. Some jellyfish species are also quite venomous, despite their often colorful and lively appearance. One jellyfish species, however, possesses an ability not found in any other type of life, not just other jellyfish. Turritopsis dorini, a jellyfish species originally found in the warmer waters of the Caribbean and Mediterranean, is the only organism we know of that can restore its cells back to their birth stage. The process 
because it's entirely involuntary and only triggers during times of severe crisis like extreme starvation or injury. Toroptosis is the only biologically immortal animal we know of, as opposed to truly immortal as they could still be eaten by predators and die, though we still don't know how it developed this ability. Its cells are seemingly able to completely repair and even reverse the damage that's accumulated over time, which is what causes the rest of us to age and die. Number 5. Narwhal Tusks Narwhals are known as the unicorns of the sea because of their reclusive nature and poorly studied remote habitat. It's a type of whale only found in the waters of the Arctic, and it could be recognized by its long pointed tusk that can grow up to 9 feet in length. Sounds like that's the actual reason that it's called a unicorn. <laughs> While there are many things we don't know about the species, its tusk has long been its most fascinating and mysterious feature. There's essentially an overgrown tooth only found in male narwhals, though scientists have never been able to figure out what it's used for or what evolutionary pressures made them develop it. Some theories say that it's a survival tool that allows them to hunt more efficiently, though as female narwhals are known to survive longer than the males, that doesn't really seem to explain it. Number 4. How did complex life evolve in the deep sea? For billions of years, life only existed as microscopic, single-celled organisms in the depths of the ocean. Then, around 570 million years ago, something happened, and complex life suddenly exploded in numbers existing in the deepest parts of the ocean for nearly 15 million years before some of us left for land. All multicellular organisms today, from plants to horses to marine animals, can trace their roots to that period. The transition from simple organisms to complex life remains one of, if not the, biggest mystery of evolution. All complex forms of life are different from single-celled creatures on a fundamental level, it's not clear how or even exactly when we made the switch. One theory says that Archaea, an ancient single-celled life form that separated from other single-celled beings early on, is the missing piece. It fits into the larger question of why complex creatures evolved at all, as life had existed in the same simple form for billions of years with no apparent reason to evolve. Number 3. Cenotes Cenotes are a kind of interconnected natural well found all over the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Once considered sacred by the Mayans, it's one of the most mysterious natural formations we know of. Apart from all the Mayan-era artifacts buried inside their depths, the cenotes themselves are a vast network of caves that have still not been properly explored. Currently, there are close to 6,000 documented cenotes all over the Yucatan Peninsula, though that's only the ones we know of. Cave divers believe that there are many more of these sinkholes to be found all across the region, along with entirely new ecosystems and life forms that we may never have seen before. Number 2. Blue Whale Songs Are Getting Deeper Blue whales aren't just the largest animal on Earth today, they're also the largest animal to have ever lived. They're known for their songs, as every blue whale is capable of producing a unique frequency to communicate. While other species have this ability too, blue whale songs are known for their variations and unique style. What we don't know, though, is what they use it for. Marine biologists have tried to interpret songs produced by blue whales for a while now, though we can only guess what they mean. On top of that, the songs seem to be getting deeper every year. Blue whales have been consistently shifting their tonal frequency down since at least the 90s. 1960s when we first started recording them, and we have no idea why. Number 1. The Surprising Diversity of Life in the Deep Sea The deep sea is the bottommost layer of the ocean, roughly starting at a depth of around one mile, going all the way down to the seabed. It's one of the most hostile places on Earth, with absolutely no light, an average temperature of 39 degrees Fahrenheit, and immense levels of pressure that most animals can't survive. Because of the extreme conditions, scientists used to assume that life would be sparse in the deepest parts of our ocean. Ever since we actually started exploring it, though, we found that life in the deep sea isn't just more diverse than we we ever thought, but also more diverse than many habitable ecosystems found on land. It's a complete mystery to science, as according to all of our evolutionary theories, the deep sea shouldn't be suitable for natural selection and development of diverse evolutionary traits. Moreover, we know almost nothing about the kind of animals and other creatures that live down there, or even how they interact with each other. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.